Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Virgin Galactic, um, whether it's worth investing in, um, how it works as a design product, um, and whether it's got a kind of future, any kind of future. Uh, we're going to be doing that in the form we always do of SWOT analysis, that is strength, weaknesses, um, opportunities and threats to the company and more importantly to your investments. So Virgin Galactic owes its existence to um, something that was known as the um, Ansari Google X Prize, which was a, a competition by the X Prize Foundation to award uh, $10 million to um, any company or individuals that could get a craft into space uh, through private means. Uh, the winner was a company called Scaled Composites, who work alongside Virgin Galactic um, as the, the basically the engineering company to create um, the various spaceships. Um, the first one they had up there was called Spaceship One, they use Spaceship Two currently, and Spaceship Three is in production. More on that shortly, but first a word from our sponsors. As with all tech companies, uh, this has great ambition, um, very science fiction, um, but as with all uh, technical companies, obviously the share price might not reflect its ambition as well as you'd like, um, and it can uh, appear to be a bit of a dead duck. But as I said, we're going to go through some of its um, pros and cons of what's coming, uh, its potential, and whether it's worth a single penny investing in. So we can describe um, Virgin Galactic as a uh, small to medium sized engineering company as 825 employees. Uh, it currently has three craft in operation, or I should say um, capable of operation. The uh, VSS Unity uh, VP03, the VSS Unity VP01 and the VSS Imagine. Um, each ticket they're going to be selling are around $450,000 and so far they've sold around $700. Um, obviously they've got uh, good potential for the future if they can keep at this level of business um, and um, the idea of flying in space has always been something that's been incredibly popular for a lot of people. Okay, so the major weakness for uh, Virgin Galactic is obviously cash flow. Um, its annual revenue at the moment is just under a quarter of a million dollars. Um, it's um, gone through some, as you would expect for a company of this type, it's gone through some severe heartbreak with uh, uh, crashes for the uh, VS Enterprise in 2014 and when they lost three people. Um, and they've had a, a fuel tank explosion recent, um, recently, but 2007. Uh, in which they lost uh, another person. Um, when you look at the share price, it's through the floor. They've had problems with getting um, permission to fly uh, because during its tests, it's gone outside of its um, zone of operations. Um, the equipment itself is obviously evolving and the engineers are getting better with it, but it's just the um, sheer lack of money that's going in there because they're not flying at the moment that's what's holding the company back um, and until they've got that um, rectified uh, they're always going to struggle the other problem they had they've always come off the back of COVID as many companies have in which engineers haven't been able to work together quite so closely um, and they've had to scale back um, potential operations uh, make it sound like a hospital visit but they've had to uh, reduce their ability to be able to uh, develop the equipment uh, quite as they would like Now the opportunities are quite simply right in front of you. Um, it's space. It's the ultimate tourist attraction uh, to go up in space and see the Earth as a, the great blue marble um, from orbit. Um, they have many, many more craft um, plans at the moment. I think they've got two more in production from Stan, which is the Spaceship 3 models. Um, they're working with a company called Boom Tech to develop a supersonic transoceanic passenger jet um, that has the potential to take on uh, Concorde um, as the uh, new go-to so it could evolve in that direction um, which would make the company on a par with Boeing and if not the company of Boeing would probably come on and buy them out I'd imagine 
Um, the eight spaces on board the current craft um, allows it to charge essentially two million dollars, I would imagine, a maximum for each ride up. So the threats to the company are quite simple. It's Jeff Bezos' um, Amazon Blue Origin craft, uh, but more importantly, it's Elon Musk and his SpaceX uh, company, which has co contracts with uh, NASA and an almost unlimited uh, amount of cash behind it. Um, depends on the evolution of these companies and their technology and which direction they're going in. Um, at the moment SpaceX is winning the race essentially it has more equipment up than anybody else it has multiple satellite systems with uh, the Starlink system um, it has an incredible array of uh, rockets at its disposal from small ones to large ones and their reusability um, is probably second to none it's it's close to what uh, SpaceX can do at the moment um, but as that evolves, eventually they kind of start looking like space planes themselves. That's where the, the threats are for the company. Um, as that evolves, eventually customers might go over there as that becomes a, a public relations winner. Okay, so I think Virgin Galactic has great potential and a great future, potentially. Um, however, I think um, the size of the company and the lack of cash flow is what's holding it back and it's the reason the um, shares are constantly trading under $10. Okay, so I think that's it from me. Um, I think you should go check out the company yourselves, look at their spreadsheets, look at their press packs, see what you think. Um, and if you choose to invest, just remember um, it's a heavily volatile market between um, these type of tech companies. Uh, and there's a good chance you could be risking everything.